Hi, my name is James Abel and I'd like to present PyShip, an easy way to ship your Python desktop application to end users. Suppose you've created an awesome Python application, something like the code on the left. Then, of course, you'd like to give it to end users, something like the group on the right. Of course, this is how things might have looked pre-COVID and things are a bit different today, but you get the idea. The idea of PyShip is to be able to ship apps to end users in a straightforward and reliable way. The terms often used here are freezers and installers, so you may have heard these terms before. A PyShip is a freezer and it provides an installer. The goal of PyShip is to freeze virtually any Python application. This has been a sticky point of some freezers and that sometimes the optimizations used to freeze an application actually make it more difficult to get the frozen application to actually work. PyShip is probably the most, most useful for GUI applications but can also freeze command line applications or CLIs. Also, applications created with PyShip make no assumption of any pre-installed Python. The executable that is run looks like a native application to the operating system. In other words, an XE on Windows. In addition, PyShip supports automatic application updating, which can be done in the background. This is something fairly unique to PyShip. Currently, PyShip only supports Windows, but it is architected so that Mac OS and Linux ports can be added later. Uh, as far as the overall architecture, PyShip utilizes existing Python capabilities in order to make it more straightforward to create an application that can be frozen. The first two steps are normal Python constructs. The first is to make your application runnable as a main module, in other words with the dash M switch. The second is to package your application as a Python distribution, which at this point is probably most likely a wheel. There are existing tools to make this relatively straightforward, such as Flit or the regular setup.py. Once you have your application as a main module in a Python distribution, such as a wheel, you need to tell PyShip a couple of things. First, you need to tell it your application name. It's best to do that in the pyproject.toml file. If you're using Flit, this has been uh, already created for you. Also, you should tell PyShip if your application is a GUI or command line application in the pyproject.toml file. Once you've done that, you're ready to run PyShip. One of the main architectural features of PyShip is called the CLIP, which stands for Complete Location Independent Python. This is created by PyShip and is a directory that contains everything needed to run your application, which is a Python interpreter using the embedded version, your application installed via your distribution that we talked about before, and all of your dependencies. It also contains a launcher, which is a native executable, such as an XC for Windows, that the OS calls to run your application. PyShip also creates an installer. This is a normal Windows installer created using the NSYS utility application. PyShip can uh, also automatically upload all of this to the cloud, and currently Amazon Web Services is supported. Um, then you can reference your installer as an S3 object, just a pointer to it, and have users download it from S3. I mentioned updating before. Your application can also update itself in the background. The clip file, which is a zip of the clip directory, is versioned and also uploaded to the cloud. PyShip provides an update capability that downloads new versions, and those versions are used when your application restarts. This can be done without any user intervention since the Launcher app can restart your application as part of this process. For many applications, such as taskbar apps, this requires no end user intervention. To learn how to use PyShip, I have created a small example application. This is a small GUI app that you can clone from my Git repo listed here and try out. You can take it through all the steps I mentioned above to learn how to create an application using PyShip. I have recently released PyShip and I am looking for beta testers. PyShip is up on PyPI and ready to try out. Please try it out and give me your feedback and post issues if you find anything. You can go to PyShip.org and that will take you to the GitHub repo. Finally, I'd like to thank Thomas Clover, Glyph, and Eli for their work in this area. They've uh, helped me in the past providing guidance and various suggestions. Again, just visit PyShip.org to get started. Thank you.